the child pornography case against a local pediatrician. The doctor appeared before a federal judge today for the first time. Jennifer Donlin was in the courtroom there along with some of the parents of the doctor's patients. Jen, how are they reacting? Well, Leon, honestly, the fact that we had parents in the courtroom, I really think goes to show the extent of utter disbelief in this case. Well-known Washington pediatrician Dr. Robert Dickey stood in a federal courtroom and heard the charges against him, possession of child pornography. The effects of the case reached hundreds of D.C. parents, like Eric Coleman, who said he had to be in court to see his five-year-old son's doctor for himself. My mind and my heart just dropped. Um, again, it's just, it's just very disappointing, and um, it, was, it was just my, my, my heart just dropped when I saw him. The shock began yesterday morning when federal agents arrested the 73 year old doctor at his southeast home where he practices. Prosecutors said an FBI task force traced 14 child pornographic images to the doctor's email address and alleged officers caught him on his computer looking at child porn when they arrested him. Today we spoke with a man who was leaving the house. Can we speak with you regarding these charges? Yeah, we have nothing to say right now. We did, we're stunned like everyone else. We're sorry for everyone that might have been affected by this madness. FBI agents and D.C. police officers said the pediatrician admitted to downloading and storing child porn. A federal judge ordered he will stay behind bars until his next court appearance. Neighbors and countless parents weren't sure of what to do next. And she told me I actually screamed on the phone because, you know, I have daughters. I still just, I, I really, it really bothers me. I just can't believe that he, Dr. Dick is a very kind man. I mean, if you can't trust your child to a doctor that you know and you see his practice is blooming, I really don't want to be his neighbor anymore. Now, when I spoke with the FBI today and we asked them about parents who might want to take any course of action, they said that they can file complaints if they think anything happened inside that doctor's office. He appears back here in the federal courthouse on May 23rd. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Jen. A judge is